very unkillable in the first three to four minutes of the game. I guess na isip din na sobrang important yung magiging laning phase natin dito. So let's head into the game, mga kaibigan. And kayo ba? Agree ba kayo sa mga picks nato? Are we going into a meta that doesn't look like it has tanks? What is happening here? It's very interesting. And yung matangki na sa mga yaki, eh, na yung nakita natin sa gilid, yung mga yung mga small nuances. XP lane will be on the bottom, and the gold lane will be on the top lane. And of course, sa in game, meron naman mga suggestions. Suggestions yan. Whether or not you're going to come up with, uh, whether or not the the game thinks that this certain hero goes to the XP lane or dun sa, sa gold lane. There are small suggestions. I'm, no, I'm sure you noticed that when you were playing your games. And I wonder, no? I really wonder whether or not that's going to be a, a big deal. Now, obviously, yung teams natin tingin nila, it's going to be big. Pero, syempre, game one pa lang to. Wala pang laban na nangyari. We will not be able to tell right away. Now, I want to know what you guys think. Who do you think had the better draft here? Comment nyo dun yan. Comment nyo dun yan. We are live, obviously, on Facebook and YouTube. And meron din tayong English stream na nagaganap ngayon. Kasama si Butters at Shinbu. You can also watch them, out for the, watch, watch them there on Mobile Legends Esports Facebook page at YouTube. Now, we're gonna go on a short pause here. Now, what does this look like? Kamusta ang win rate ng... Ruby. Actually, hindi ko nga alam kung pwede man nating isama yung win rate before. Kasi obviously, iba talaga eh. Iba talaga yung mga mangyayaring picks. Iba talaga yung... I feel, it feels like a different lineup altogether. Yung Ruby before sa, before that patch, it's focused on sustain. And definitely, if this Ruby doesn't go down, pag hindi mo siya masyadong nag-focus on, uh, on ro roaming, on ganking, actually, yung Ruby na to, it's going to be good. And now, I just got news, mga kaibigan. May malupit na pangyayaring magaganap. Hindi na ako solo. Malita, wala kayo yun. I'd like to welcome to the desk our anchor. Welcome back, brother. Mr. Wolf. What's up? What's good? Kala mo mag-isa ka, no? Nakita wala ko yung, din, Nakita eh. ko yung ano, <laughs> no? A lot of things happened. A lot Kati of ako, things. Kati ako, napatch na rin ako, ano, Mr. Mr. Rockhart. Oo. Uh -uh. Napatch ka? Napatch na rin ako. Bakit? Ba't ka napatch? Ganun talaga eh. Kasi <laughs> next project na eh. Next project, project next. Na. Oo. Oh, so, mali, iba pala no? Project next. Project next. Ang susunod na proyekto. Ito na tayo. May mga, may, may pagbabago din na ganun ah. Mm -hmm. May mga logo-logo na din tayo. <laughs> ano na, ito yung bagong emotes. Kasama bagong yung, emotes? Oo. If I'm not mistaken, this is from um, MPL ID. Oh, ID, ID siya. siya. Uh -huh. And syempre, hopefully, tayo din ay magkaroon ng mga ganun. Sana Imagine naman, di ba? Sana naman. Tsaka yung mismong Zen Esports, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Asa pa tayo mm. na. <laughs> oh, as we expected, this um, uh, um, Jawhead ay nakikita natin as well as the show. Mga ito talaga top prior priorities. And Rockheart, so it seems na ang ating ibang mga theories ay hindi natuloy. Kaya nga eh. In fact, it seems like it's going to be a uh, 1-3-1 or carry, hyper carry strategy pa rin from our mm -hmm. teams. That's true. It's a 1-3-1 one, one, and they are still sticking with it. I think Bren is the one who made the bigger change by using itong Claude na to. So interestingly enough, yung Claude is still going to be the priority here. Although, si expect nyo sa early game, it's not going to be as... Uh, as aggressive, pero ang aggressive lang naman ang usapan. Right. Yan, si Kuya Heat. The, uh, this is one thing that I'm seeing often. Eh. Ano bang implications nito, Mr. Rockhart, having uh, tanks na parang nanggugulo lang eh. Look at Heat. Ang naipapansin ko na movements niya dito is to look for the jungler. So it seems as they tag few, pero napakaganda na mula kay Lusty. However, it's not enough. Mapapatay pa dito yung Chango. Seems a few as the support channel. Mm. Yeah, so two questions dito, Rockhart. Una is, what is the role of the tanks now? And Tama. si Fiu as a support, is this a Chang'o a mage support na parang nasa gitna nagsisimula? Actually, eh, yung nga yung sabi ko kanina ng draft, parang walang pinik na tank. Eh. Kufra mm. was either... Kufra hindi na pinansin. Oh. Yung mga ganong klaseng tanks, it was not banned, it was not picked. And yeah. a lot of these are mga ano to, mga sustained fighter. Mm -hmm. So, we can see now, he is gonna be punished once again mula sa Bren Esports. Nakita mo yun, and... What was that? A uh, concussive blast yata yun. Yung yeah. huling uh, nakalasit kay Heath. And is it now gonna be the trend? Ito ba yung magiging trend, Rockheart, na ma makakita tayo ng mga aggressive na tanks pero mm. ipapunish ng uh, 
mga teams. It's starting to look like it. Kasi oh. yung aggression kanina ni Heath, level 1 pa lang siya nun eh. So I think medyo mm -hmm. na behind siya. Wala siyang ultimate ngayon. At two and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. Malaking bagay yun, especially in the early ganking scenario. Oh, okay. Seems like yung ating Ruby ay napipick na madalas ng mga teams. Actually, Omega, tignan mo. Parang sila pa yung nakakalamang. Even after the aggressiveness mula dun sa ating... Uh, Johed, samtala flap TZ na puwersa na gumamit na kanyang ultimate pero ito na naman Nako, si Heath. Si Heath. Nako, hindi pa kulang yata, hindi pa kulang na nga. <laughs> And <laughs> yun na nga yung kill natin. Mukhang in fairness, may konting rewards dito. Yes. Ang pagiging aggressive ni Heath kahit nung uh, namatay siya nung una. Two kills and uh, one assist. Tatlo ang kanyang participation. Dito napakita nga na mula kay Kurt TZ. Pero si Kurt TZ syempre may BMI out. Yep, and of course, Kurt, mahirap, mahirap oh, tayo dun mamaya. <laughs> <laughs> si Carl Tizzi at Kurt Tizzi, nagharap na naman. So, so far, so good here for Bread Esports. They're sustaining, they're mm -hmm. surviving. Lasty, though, ibang plano niya. He wants to go for the kill, Toshi, very low. Pero mahapul well. pa rin dito. Napagandang timing naman mula kay Toshi para hindi makompleto yung Jeet Kondo. It's gonna be the maximum charge mula kay Heath. Pag-pressure lang sa may mid lane, nabang si Pio ay na nagkiklear Energy lang din. Shield. At um, si Ajizi, eh, eh, bilang isang ling, nakakuha ng sobrang daming farm na rin dito. Si level 6, si Carl TZ ay 5 pa lang. Pinoprotect na dito para oh. sa buff. Hindi mo ang garod ng contention. Oh. Also, a good pick ah, dun sa, sa flame shot for mm -hmm. Haze. It's a great way to deny or to try to steal. Mm -hmm. So, kakabahan lagi yung Britney Sports <laughs> when they take a buff. Kasi there's always going to be a potential. Yep. Pag malapit si Haze, A big flame shot could go your way. Mm. Also, si Carl TZ. Last thing na ako ng stun in a way of the dragon, pero kailan niya tumakbo? Hajizi, konting habol dito. Napakitang si tulak naman nun. Actually, that was an ejector. At nakakuha pa ng double kill. Heat, gamit ang flicker. Napaganda. Sa matalas, si Flap TZ ay makukuhaan ng isa. Carl TZ, ng BMI, but Hajizi is there. At I believe yung DPS na, yung uh, damage over time yung nakapatay sa kanya doon. All of a sudden, 7 kills para sa Omega sa kanilang aggressiveness. And ano masasabi natin dito mula sa performance ng Omega? Pinapunish lang ba nila yung passiveness dito ng uh, Bren Esports? Yeah, pero wala silang choice eh. No, mm -hmm. Wala silang no choice doon. <laughs> Most of the time, kailangan talaga maging passive ng mm -hmm. Bren, especially when you pick a load. And panood din nyo doon sa replay na yun. Si Flap, after the initial skills, wala na siya masyadong gagawin. Literal lakad atake na lang. Yun yung magiging implication ng nerf kay Yujong. By the way, yung uh, Alice natin, alam natin na sa mga maganda yung mga changes. Yung kanyang ultimate ay toggled na. Ibig sabihin, hindi na siya nagko-cooldown. Well, yep. actually, may 2 second cooldown between sa toggles. Pero imagine nyo, hindi ka na talaga maghihintay ng matagal ang cooldown for ultimate. Mm -hmm. Ang kapalit ay mana, pero alam naman natin, pag nakuha ka ng Clock of Destiny, tsaka ng... late game na stocks, di ba? Sa, sa ating uh, Alice. Anli na, 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 na halos mm -hmm. lahat, eh, di ba? Yung mga enchanted talisman mm -hmm. pa, mga ganun. So, yep. mga itemization can make up dun sa mga pagbabagong ginawa dito kay Alice. For so, sure. So far, laki ng lamang na Omega Big Lab. 5,000. Sinasigurad nila dito yung turtle. Habang si Heath naman ay nanggugulo lang. So, may gilid and that's the turtle. Taken. Si Rebo. Trying to be a little bit aggressive dito, but he will not get anything. Ah, huh. naka interesting. Okay, so ang tanong ko dito is, nagsimula ba si Cortez sa mid or dun sa isang lane? Kasi parang Actually, parang one two two sila kanina. One two two. Oh, pansin ko. Mo ang hindi nag uh, mo ang hindi effective. Yung obey kasi parang napansin ko Rockheart. Wala silang binago. It's literally one three one. Literally one three one. Nasa <laughs> ling ling na sa gitna. Tapos yung kanilang uh, katapat ay nag-1-2-2. Kaya sobrang lamang nila ngayon. Ngayon oh si Rebo God. ay mapapunish na naman. Siguro ang nagbago lang talaga is mas aggressive si Heath. Yun, Yun nga, oo. <laughs> Level 1 pa lang. Ano ba? Meron akong ejector. Guluhin ko mm -hmm. lang yung jungle. It kind of worked. Gumana mm -hmm. naman siya for a while, di ba? Dun sa yeah. red buff. And ito na natin, nakita natin yung implication. Ito na yung epekto ng kanilang mga aggression. At mukhang ganang gana naman. Pumapasok na yata ngayon si Heat sa likod na Oy, naman. Uy, nagganda na ka pala kay Lasty Wave Dragon. Kaso na-cancel lang din. Dahil nandito na si AGC para sa punishment. Nagda-dive at makakakuha ba ng kill? Naku si Lasty. Yeah, That is Lasty for ya. Sa madala tumatakbo dito si Ling. The left side. Habang nangyari yun, there was a kill on flap. At hindi yan gusto ng Bren Esports nyo yun. 1-9 ang ating score. You know what? Rockheart, isa pa lang ang team. na nakapa, nakabawas sa points ng Brainy Sports at yun ang Onyx PH, ito na ba ang potential na pangalawang pagkatalo ng Brainy Sports when it comes to a match? Do you feel like it? Meron bang way dito ang Brainy Sports makabawi?
I think we've seen the Brain Esports dito sa situation na to mm -hmm. so many times. Even on season five, I think the last the playoffs of season five, they played sila ng ganito eh, uh -oh. where they were relying on Carl TZ na makapagfarm ng matagal. Oh my oh. goodness, few, walang Phew. takas. And hindi yung problema sa Chango pag medyo core ang role mo. After yung flicker, wala ka ng ibang way Talaga para matasin. Toshi, syempre, meron siyang flowing blood at meron siyang uh, um, flicker to use that. By the way, si Curtisi, kanina pa, kanina pa niya ginagawa. Nire-reset lang niya. Ito na uh, ating, um, um, sorry, the, the spinner? Mother. Or, mother shocker. Mother shocker. Mother Yun, yung natawag sa kanya. Uh -huh. At na, ang nakita ko rin is, ito something na kailangan i-take note natin mga viewers. Kapag mas maraming heroes, malapit dun sa buff ay mas kumukuha natin ba 15% per hero per hero oh, sa mga buffs na ito yung umatake uh, kailangan umatake sila that's right so what does this mean uh, magkakaroon ba na mas maraming invades kasi counted kahit kalaban Naku. oh pero mamaya Naku. natin pag-usapan dahil mukhang gusto lumapan na omega dito around the orange buff once again si Haji sinisimu sinisimula na tignan mo yung positioning ni Heath dito hindi siya mabawas ayaw niyang ma ma mapakunat pa Lumayo yung talaga sa mga layo. Brain Esports, wala silang nagawa doon sa crash na yun. At ninanakawa at ninanakawa na sila. Omega, para may, para may kanilang uh, gold now. On the bottom lane, Rap TC wants Ako. to fight this. Ito na si Hayes. Kaso nahatak sila at sila pa naunaan. Double kill already for Omega. May isa pa. Si Few na huli na nga with the ejector. That means a double kill para sa ating Ling. At 14 kills na Omega. 27,000 over 18. Pa 9k gold lead ng Omega at 9 mm. minutes. It's a bad sign para sa Bren Esports. Pero looks like Omega is really... Mm -hmm. eh, parang ibang-ibang team sila ngayon, okay. Kuya Wolf. Uh, one, you know what? Ang isa sa mga predictions ko dito ay ang Bren Esports ang isa sa mga pinakaunang team na makapag-adjust magbibigay sa atin ng new meta. Pero naman silang pinakita ng new meta. Kaya lang yung Omega sabi nila... The new meta does not work. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. One three one pa rin oh. ang galawan at kitang kita natin ang uh, impl ang laki ng ano lamang eh. What was this? Wa bakit ganon ang um, nangyari at least dito sa match na to? I know it's too early to tell uh, mm -hmm. Rockheart, pero so far, what are we seeing dito sa ating patch sa ginawa ng Omega laban sa Bren Esports? Bakit so ang, hindi nagwork yun? Ang trend naman ng Bren Esports is a lot of them are scaling heroes, de ba? Mm. Yujong with the Claude. Mm -hmm. Yung frontline nila is a little lacking. Oh, and even nah. yung Chang'e, uh, fighting right now dito sa gilid, wow. kulang din ng power. I think yun lang talaga mm -hmm. yung fire powers or early game. Right? At tinake advantage ng Omega yun. Nahuli din nila na, inuhusan nila ng mga skills. And ngayon, tinatry nila. Kita nyo kung gano'ng kakunat yung uh, buffs ngayon. It will be reset as well. Kunat nga. So Omega ay, uh, nang ginugulo lang si Carl TC dito. Ang, ang goal lang nila, hindi makapag-farm. Carl TC is just 5k. 7k na yung link. Pero may clash dun sa may likuran. Yuzong as well as Joe. Combining. Pero yung Chango, Meteor Shower, walang tinatamaan. Nahuli ka din sa GZ. Pero sabi ng Omega, back muna. Pangit yung pwesto natin dito. Huwag tayong lamaban. At nag-burn lang sila ng ibang flicker at mga ultimate dun. Tapos, umalis na lang. Yep. And ganda ng decision eh. Cut your losses para sa Omega. Actually, yes. Ang pinakamalaking advantage na nakuha ng Omega dun, nakuha ni Toshi yung pinagtrabahuhan ni Carl TZ nung matagal. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, nasayang yung oras ni Carl TZ doon habang distracted silang lahat. Tapos wala mm. daman ding na-down sa Omega. Mm -hmm. So overall, positive net, net game pa rin. Net game pa rin. Okay. Nice. Well, really good para sa Omega. Sa matalas, yung sila nalang Lord may nahuli dito si Toshi. Pero parang planado yata to ng Omega. What they're Ooh. doing is just to take the Lord ngayon at isang bar na lang. Nandito si Ribo. We have to take note. Alam na nila kung kailan gagamit yung retribution. Perfect timing at yun nga. Flawless na flawless para sa Omega. May nahuli na naman dito, pero mukhang walang punishment. Nagapal siya Jesus at Nicolan. Gusto mahanap yung Claude at napatay na nga yung Claude. Omega finding that carry ng Bren Esports at isang magandang trade. Hindi nga trade eh. Lord, It's a Lord. at Claude para sa isang Alice. That is not that is not bad. That is Omega <laughs> with getting everything, almost everything mm -hmm. they want na parang dumulas lang ng konti mm -hmm. sa dulo. Ah. Ngayon, nakita natin Yung implication ng pagka wala din nung purify sa isang cloud. Mm -hmm. Alaking bagay pala, no? pag walang mm -hmm. purify yung cloud, talagang mukha siyang sobrang vulnerable. Yep. Hindi ka basta basta makapag-battle mirror image pala yun. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What's in ko rin dito, Rockheart, is kung 
talagang nasa aggressiveness lang sila. Mm -hmm. What they're trying to do is hindi nila hinaya makapag-farm sa Bern Esports. Tapos, dahil lagi sa nagarap ng gulo, naku-force nila itong si Yuzong at si Lusty na pumunta lagi kung nasan sila para hindi makapag-sideline push. So, kung may defense man dito mula sa Bren Esports, kailangan nilang sobrang lupitan with Meteor Shower, Blazing Duet, kasi mahihirapan sila. Katulad na ginagawa ni Hajisi, wala siya pa eh! Wala, oh, scene na zone! Scene zone Probably ni Hajisi! At yun, ngayon na, pinansin na. na Pinurse na dito yung ultimate. <laughs> and Hajisi almost taking him down. Samantala si Toshi dito nakipag 1v1 sa tatlo. Habang yung Lord naman papunta na sa base. Inhibitors down! May magandang hatang mula doon sa Ruby! And it comes to Temis of Blades. Brad Tizzi, bad position. At nahulay doon sa likuran si Ribo. Lahat na sila namatay. And Omega scores! Maniac. The second defeat of Brain Esports.